What's up everybody? Um, today I've got my 2002 Toyota Tundra and I ordered some Dirty D 12 hole injectors. It's a nice little injector upgrade that you can do. It's supposed to make the truck drive more modern. Uh, that's what the, all the comments and everything said so I don't know. We'll see. But as you can see, let's see if we can get it to focus. Probably not. But anyways, there's 12 small holes and the factory injectors have four holes and it's sprays more like a stream of fuel and these spray more like a mist so I'm gonna swap these out and we'll see what kind of performance upgrades we get with it. That one's going. <laughs> Watch out, it's gonna spray a little bit of fuel whenever you pop these hoses off. So I'd let that dry before you crank this thing back up. This driver's side is the harder side to do, so that's the one I'm starting on, just because I want to go ahead and get it out of the way. But what holds the fuel rail on, here I'll show you. There's two little nuts, they're 12 millimeter I believe, and that holds the fuel rail down. But you also got to disconnect a bunch of lines and stuff, so that's what I'm doing right now. And you'll see what you have to disconnect, because if you don't disconnect it, it's not going to come off. All right, I've got the driver's side in. The only thing left on this side is to tighten the little fuel rail right there. But you gotta leave it off to get the other side. But I like the pink injectors, they look pretty cool. All right, I've got both sides on. I think I've got everything hooked back up. And I'm gonna try to start it now. It's probably gonna be really, really rough first start. But we'll see. All right, she's running now. I can tell it's running a lot better. Um, I'm gonna take it for a test drive in just a minute and I'll take y'all with me and I'll review it a little bit, see if the driving feels any different. So let me get all this buttoned up. We're gonna hop in here, take a ride. And this is the first time I've drove it. So you'll get to see, I'll let you know what I think about it. About to lose you guys. And I do have an engine check light on. I believe it's just the from when I was first trying to start it. It's got to reprime the fuel, so it's gonna misfire a little bit. Okay. Uh, main thing I just noticed is that the shifting was a little bit smoother. It wasn't as hard of a shift. Let me take it out here on the road and we'll get up to speed and see what I'm thinking. All right guys, I'm gonna give my final review. Um, so the reason that I wanted to upgrade to these injectors is because one of my OEM injectors went bad, so it was misfiring on cylinder six really bad. And I installed the new injectors, truck was still running rough. You could see that I tried the sea foam to clean the throttle body and everything. I don't know if that stuff really works or not, but figured it was worth a shot, that it wouldn't hurt anything. And so after installing everything, it was still running rough. I was driving it around just hoping that maybe something will start working. Then I got to thinking that if that spark plug's been in there firing dry or something, it could have fouled that plug out. So I went to AutoZone, I got all new plugs, and I swapped them all out, and now the truck runs great. Like, it's ins insane how smooth that truck shifts. Like before, you'd be driving down the road and it'd just be like, Kong! but now you can't even feel it shift. So I would 100% recommend upgrading to these injectors just for that reason. I can't speak on like the horsepower increase or anything just because my truck was running so bad before. But now it runs awesome. So if you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment if you got any questions. And I'll see you on the next one.